Hello, friend. Welcome to Lamas. I am Ithamenes. My name is Tathras. I hope your journey was pleasant. Whatever you wish, just ask, and we can get it. I am Boros. May good luck be with you. I am sure we can do business together. Is Lamas just a city of merchants? Yes. That is, practically. There are the Lastragonians as well. We're only here because they authorize us to be. We have to come to an arrangement with them. But we don't complain. Oh no, not in the least. What is your relationship with the Lastragonians? Friendly, but strictly business. We are in charge of collecting a tax from each boat that wants to transit through the strait. So, when you want to take the strait, come to see one of us. We're always ready to do business. We'll leave you now. Take the time to think it over. See you soon. So, no, my friend, you've chosen me in order to pay your passage toll? Not really. I was just wondering... Who are these Lastragonians who control access to the Strait? They're kind of crude, but very powerful. As tall as two men, and four times as strong. They're the true masters of the Strait. What is the toll to pass? It's kind of special. Every boat that wants to gain time by using the strait must pay tribute. The toll is from one to several slaves, depending on the size of the boat. And as you've been able to see for yourself, it's much better to pay. We, the merchants of Lamos, collect the tax and make sure the Lastragonians get it. But how do they know if a boat has paid or not? That's our job. We make sure that everyone respects the trade agreement. When one of us becomes aware of a vessel trying to pass fraudulently, he warns the guards immediately with a foghorn. And what do the Lastragonians do with these slaves? What do you have to sell that might interest me? As you see, I sell mostly food, spices, dried meat, drinks. Make your selection. We'll discuss the price afterwards. Hmm. No, I'm sorry. I don't see anything here that would prove useful for me. I'm looking for a friend named Ulysses. I was told that he was a prisoner of the Lastragonians. Perhaps you could help me find him. From what I hear, the name of Ulysses is sacrilegious to the Lastragonians. He who utters it risks death. I don't know if it's your friend who's concerned, but take care when you speak of him. In addition, if he's a prisoner, there's not much chance of ever seeing him again. I should tell you also that any human caught visiting their land is immediately taken prisoner. Or so they say, for no one has ever returned from there. And no one has any idea of what goes on up there? I already told you, nobody's ever taken the risk of going up there, even just to look around. And that doesn't interest anyone? Not even you? No. Uh, that is... It all depends. What are you ready to pay for a little help? 
That would depend on the help you'd be willing to supply. Well, if I were to show you a trail known to me alone, which would allow you to approach the outskirts of the last Dragonian fortress, perhaps I might procure that magnificent sword, for example? I am too attached to this sword. I couldn't part with it. I will have to refuse your offer. Too bad. Come back if you change your mind. Hail, soldier. Get out of here. You have no business here. I'm leaving, but I'll remember this. What can I do for you? Nothing in particular. I just wanted some information. I'm listening. Who are those people who sank that boat when I arrived? They are barbarians, left aside by civilization. Their only quality is their great strength, but that seems to suit them just fine. They're nonetheless very dangerous, and this island is theirs. How can I pay the toll to transit through the strait? In fact, it's really quite simple. You pay a tax to go through the strait, depending on what you're carrying or on your own wealth. Generally, ships pay one or more slaves that I'm responsible for turning over to the Lastragonians. And what do I risk if I don't pay? Just being sunk. And what happens to those who are sent up there? I haven't any idea, and besides, it's not my problem what happens once they're up there. We've never seen anyone come back down. Maybe the Lastragonians use them for mortal combats. In any case, we never hear of them again. And what difference does it make? They're just mere slaves, aren't they? What are you selling? My specialty is everything in metal. So, if you see anything you like, don't hesitate. I guarantee that the price will be very reasonable. I'm sure of it, but I like to travel light. I think that one of my friends is being held prisoner up there. He's called Ulysses. Did you see him by any chance? You know, here no one has friends exactly. If you've got someone you know with the Lastragonians, it's better to forget about him, for you'll never see him again. The Lastragonians themselves have forbidden that anyone go up there to see what's going on. And no one has ever thought of defying that law? Mm. Not for free, anyway. What would you offer me if I were to ask? I own a small boat with which I could land you on the opposite shore. From there, you could reach your goal more easily. As for the price, I think the sword you're bearing would be most suitable to pay for a service of the sort. Given the risks, I'd be running. Sorry, but your price is out of line with what you're offering. I've got to say no. That's a shame. Well, you'll always be welcome if my offer interests you at some other time. Us, please, free us! I assure you that I would love to, but I'm alone and powerless. What can I do to relieve your suffering a little? Besides getting us out of here, there's nothing you can do.
Welcome, foreigner. What do you need today? Not much just now. But you seem like someone aware of everything that's going on. Tell me, who are the Lastragonians? The Lastragonians are our hosts, so to speak. This trading post can only exist with their goodwill. Of course, that wasn't easy to obtain. You can't just pluck a whole population from its isolation overnight, but we finally managed to teach them the rules of trade, which they now seem to have well assimilated. Apparently, to transit through this strait is subject to a certain payment. The payment by each boat that goes through enables us to supply the last Dragonians with what they demand for each ship and for our own right to settle here. Lack of payment implies the wrecking of the boat. So, now that I've arrived, I'll have to pay you in order to stay a little while? No, there's no need of that. You'll only have to pay if you decide to use the straits to gain time on your journey. Or if you want to settle among us. But I think there are already more than enough of us here. What have you got for sale? When we decided who sells what, I decided to take care of fabrics, textiles, silks, and so forth. Look at my stock. Make your choice. What I've got on my back is enough for me. Thanks, anyway. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Could I have been selected as the lucky recipient of your toll? I don't know yet, but you'll be able to give me some information at least. The last Dragonians don't seem like very peaceable neighbors. At least with them, you know what the terms are. I'd rather trade with them than with some so-called civilized merchants. But it's true that if you show too much irony around them, you can expose yourself to mortal consequences. Tell me about this toll for passing through the strait. For each passage, the ship owner pays a tax, with which we buy slaves. Greatly appreciated by the Lastragonians. It might seem barbaric to you, but here, profit is the only thing that counts, and we're all in the same boat. What happens to the slaves once they get to the Lastragonians? I don't know. And frankly, I really am not in the least bit interested. Maybe they use them as servants, or maybe for experiments. It's not my problem. How do you find enough slaves to meet the demand? We're on the only route for the slave trade. Everything comes through here, at least for an annual price fixing. Obviously, with all this activity, we have a vast choice. By the way, just what do you sell? I sell everything that an adventurer like yourself could find useful. Amphoras, ropes, lamps. Take a look around to see if something tempts you. I prefer not to burden myself with useless things, thank you. I'm here to free a friend from the Lastragonian jails. He's called Ulysses. Hmm. Don't recall that name. But if, as you say, he's imprisoned, 
That means he arrived here as a slave. And I confess that I never asked their names. Perhaps a Lastragonian knows where he is. Ha! <laughs> Even if that were true, it's totally impossible to get any information out of those huge brutes. Take my word for it. I've tried myself and got nothing from them. Even by going up there? I see what you're getting at, stranger. But the only way to get up there is to be... Hey, that might be an idea. That is, if you really want to go up there. Let me hear your idea, then I'll tell you what I think of it. It's a crazy idea, a dangerous one, but it could work if you trust me. Go on. Imagine that you pretend to be a slave. You leave your things with me. I help you get up there in the cargo hoist. Once up there, you do what you have to do. I'll send you a small boat on the other bank so that you can get back more easily. If you're not back in a week, I sell your things. If you come back, which I hope, the price will be that magnificent sword you're carrying. The price is final, of course. I think that's a good idea. Of course, what choice do I have? How do we go about it? Follow me.
help us. Deliver us. Cut our bonds. Have pity on us. I haven't got time. It would be too great a risk. Scoundrel! May you roast in the fires of Hades! Doc! I'd like to know if one of you knows a man called Ulysses. He should be among you. I don't know him. Neither do I. But ask the old man in the kitchen. He's been here longer than any of us, and maybe he knows the one you're looking for. What is this place? Here? This is the kitchen prison of the Lestragonians. This is where the human slaves needed for the ritual meals are prepared. You mean that all those unfortunate people brought here by the slave traders serve as food for these monsters? Of course. Why do you think none of them has ever escaped? Because once here, they don't have time to think. They're cooked up immediately. I'd like to know if one of you knows a man called Ulysses. I don't know him. Neither do I. Help us. Deliver us. Cut our bonds. Have pity on us. All right. I'll take care of you right away. Thank you, my lord. May you be blessed a thousand times over. You, Ulysses' friend, us know you come, us wait, impatient. Boros, but... My friend warn, him make you fall, my trap. Me very happy, long wait, now forgot. Traitor! How could you do that? What did you get in return? Ah, oh, poor ignoramus. Did you really think you could seek the man who provoked my master without my master reacting? Really, my friend, I thought you were smarter than that. I'd been accustomed to better from you. Perhaps I misjudged you. Accustomed? Have we met before? Not Boros. But perhaps you know me better as Miraf. What have you done to Ulysses? Ulysses gone long time. But insult stuck my head. Ah, uh, you not Ulysses. Me happy anyway. You mean, Ulysses has never been here? No. Shame. But you replace him. Ulysses cursed by gods. You my revenge. Take him away. So, my friend, it's you who will be prepared by the Lastragonians in three days' time. You must be someone special for them to change the date of their ritual meal. Who are you? Hippomion is my name. I'm the Lastragonians' oldest prisoner. I know them all, as well as all the prisoners, and all their customs culinary or not. You might call me the memory of this place, even if I'd rather forget most of what I've seen here. And how does one become the Lastragonian's oldest slave and their head cook? When I was younger, I followed my king in all his exploits, serving him as best I could. That was how, at his side, I fought in Troy. You were at Troy? Why then, you must know Ulysses. To be sure. Ulysses is the king I followed. And it's with him I ventured through a multitude of dangerous lands. The lotus eaters, 
the Cyclops. But how do you know all that by the gods? I am looking for your king. Penelope sent me, and my mission is to bring him home. By Zeus, I hadn't heard those names in ages. They seem to come from another life. Do you know where Ulysses is? Ah, uh, no. I have no idea. We were separated when we were fighting the Lastragonians. But he managed to get away. Oh, I can still see his ship headed south. Well, I knew that I was condemned. But I bear no grudge against Ulysses. He had no choice. And I would have done the same thing if I could have. What is this place? You're in the pantry of our hosts. All those who tried to escape finished dead or devoured. This is where you'll spend your last days. Take advantage of them. You ought to be well treated. Our friends don't like their food spoiled. What will they do with me? Mm, they'll enjoy themselves by having you perform a few tasks, and then they'll lay out a banquet that we'll have prepared, and of which you will be the main course. Oh, I'm going to have to get out of here, and quickly. Oh, I've seen a lot of men try. They slid down the rubber chute in the scullery, only to be smashed on the rocks below. In fact, so that it doesn't happen again, the Lastragonians have posted guards there. Others have tried by the roofs, but not just anybody can play Icarus. No, believe me, the only real escape is death. Tired? I'm afraid I wouldn't have the strength to escape today. Are you sure? No. I'm afraid I wouldn't have the strength to escape today. Are you sure? Yes. The next day.
I'm afraid I wouldn't have the strength to escape today. Are you sure? Yes. The next day. All the gods! I didn't expect to find you here, Boros. Excuse me, I don't... Who are you? I've come to get my things back. All right, all right, take them, but don't hurt me. You've got just enough time to get out of my sight, scoundrel. Yes, I... All right. I'm going. I'm gone. The merchants here drive a hard bargain. I don't know if I'll be able to make a deal with them. That's for sure. They're in a position of strength here. I hope they didn't take you for too much. Oh no. 
It's going to be time for me to pursue my journey. With what I've learned, I don't think I'll take the straight of the Lastragonians. Well, if you're not in a hurry, then... Oh, I'll survive. <laughs>